Hello, this short video aims to introduce you to how we can improve oracy at Hannam Woods Academy. What is oracy? Oracy is the ability to express oneself fluently and grammatically in speech. Oracy is part of literacy. However, evidence shows that very little time is spent in education on developing this skill which is explicit to students. My vision is to work with you to develop strategies which enable our students to become more equipped in communicating orally in a concise and clear way which helps raise their attainment. So why is developing oracy so important? Developing oracy can improve students' self-confidence, linguistic skills, cognitive skills, as well as their written communication ultimately raising the attainment of our students here at Hannon Woods Academy. What can we do here at Hannon Woods Academy to improve oracy? I'm now going to talk you through five techniques that we can use. Number one, establish clear rules for talking which are consistent in every classroom. Number two, use sophisticated synonyms which will help improve our students' vocabulary. Number three, paraphrase checking students understand what they have learnt by getting them to put it into their own words. Number four, using thought stems, which will allow students to think about what they're going to say before providing verbal answers. Number five, use relentless redrafting, getting our students to redraft what they are saying until they get it right. This will help improve their written communication as well. It is highly likely that you are already using these strategies. However, the key question is, are students aware of them? Improving oracy, looking at sophisticated synonyms. Using sophisticated synonyms can improve self-confidence, linguistic skills, cognitive skills, and written communication. Ultimately, raising the attainment of our students. Using sophisticated synonyms is one of the biggest game changers in the classroom for improving oracy. By displaying academic verbs in your subject area and providing students with a list of synonyms, this aim can be easily achieved. All you have to do is point during a discussion to encourage students to vary their vocabulary. It also opens up the dialogue about which verb is most appropriate, thereby testing out the subtle nuances between the meanings. Teachers can verbally model sophisticated synonyms. For example, one thing about the performance that was good becomes one aspect, component, element about the performance that was successful, effective or powerful was. Modelling synonyms when speaking will allow the students to hear alternative and more sophisticated language, which they will then be able to transfer into their own dialogue. In addition to the knowledge organisers, providing students with lists of synonyms for words that are likely to come up within your lesson will help to broaden students' use of vocabulary. These can be pre-populated or perhaps they can be displayed on your PowerPoint. Here are some examples of the sophisticated synonyms which are used in drama, art and music. These words were directly taken from the subject curriculum maps. These words are not the same as the ones displayed in the knowledge organisers. Instead, they are the command words and the verbs which regularly come up in these subjects. It may be useful for you to create your own sophisticated synonyms or receipt mat for your subject using your curriculum maps. In addition to this, you may wish to create lesson-specific oracy maps which display the sophisticated synonyms for that particular lesson. Improving oracy by using paraphrasing. Students have only listened and comprehended successfully if they can paraphrase their teachers' and their peers' ideas. No daydreaming allowed. Paraphrasing can improve linguistic and cognitive skills, ultimately raising the attainment of our students. 
Paraphrasing is an excellent way to gauge students' comprehension. It also enables students to consolidate their own learning and commit to their long-term memory. Here are some of the activities which enable paraphrasing. Read the definition for, insert keyword, which can be found on your knowledge organiser and put this into your own words. Paraphrase what I have asked you to do following teacher's instruction. Having read the article, put it into your own words what the key themes are. What has Mrs Lyons just told Edward? Put the dialogue into your own words. And here's an example of how we use paraphrasing following drama definitions. Improving oracy using thought stems. Thought stems can improve linguistic skills, cognitive skills and self-confidence, ultimately raising the attainment of our students. When discussing thought stems, David Didai said, We've all met those frustrating students who can verbalise fabulous ideas, but as soon as they pick up a pen, their mind goes blank. I don't know how to start, they'd wail disconsolately. Just write down what you said a moment ago, we urged them, but to no avail. You see, if they could write down what they'd said, they would have done it. The problem is that they can't. The thought processes we use for speech and writing are not the same. Try analysing spoken language sometime. Its garbled nature can be fascinating. When students speak, they don't consider the structure of what they're saying. Often it isn't sentences and they are quite literally unable to organise it into anything coherent enough to remember, let alone write down. I use what I call thought stems to force students to focus on how, not just what, they are saying. So instead of the insipid, unforced open questions and pointlessly meandering conversational verbiage into teacher-led discussion often descends, students are required to think using academic language. They are forced to turn the unformed maelstrom of ideas into something which has structure and crucially, which they can remember well enough to write down. We have started using thought stems in expressive arts with pleasing results. For example, when asking students to discuss, we provide them with thought stems which prompt them in their discussions. If you like, this is the fuel that gets the fire started. This allows the students to enter into the discussion without having to think about how they can start their sentences. Your task is to create your own thought stem or see maps for your subjects. Use them in your lesson and see if this improves the quality of speech in your subject. Improving oracy using relentless redrafting. Relentless redrafting can improve linguistic skills, cognitive skills and self-confidence, ultimately raising the attainment of our students. How can relentless redrafting improve oracy? By asking students to replace a word with a more specific or sophisticated synonym, add a subordinate clause or use one of the keywords from the lesson in their answer, you are constantly raising the standard of their thinking and speaking. Again, by modelling this process first, students are able to see, hear and understand the thinking behind the redrafting process. It is worth remembering that if students answer using complex sentences, their thinking becomes more complex too. Here's an example of how relentless redrafting works in drama. What did you think about the performance? Um, it was um, good. I would like you to redraft your answer using complex sentences, adding specific details, key terminology, and replacing fillers using sophisticated synonyms. It might not be that the teacher asks for all of these redrafts in one go. This may be step by step. To considerable prompting and relentless redrafting, an ideal answer may sound like this. I thought that the performance was very engaging. I particularly liked the way in which the performers interacted with the audience 
by asking them rhetorical questions such as, what would you do? This made me think about how I would react if I was playing the prince and Cinderella had just run off without explaining why she needed to go. The actor playing the role of the prince made sure that the audience listened to his question as he had a loud and clear voice, emphasised the word you to make us listen and slow down his pace so that we could understand the question. This was very effective. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation and I will look forward to seeing how you use relentless redrafting in your lessons. As always, if you have any questions, please do get in touch.